St. Valentine's Day Card by Nolik O'Donnell Will you wait here for me? I asked. I will, said Dad, closing his big black umbrella as he settled himself in the shop doorway. I'll be right here. Okay, I said. I know exactly the one I want. I'll be back in a sec. I won't be a minute. I pushed Doyle's heavy door in before me. I made my way over to the card carousel. First, I looked at the cards at eye level, then at the row below, before straining to see those above, and finally those way above me. No luck. I turned the stand clockwise, and there, right above me, was the big brown bear smiling down at me. Whew, great, it's still here, I thought. Can I give you a hand there? Came the voice from behind. Oh, I, I, I think I'm okay, I stuttered, stretching above my reach to topple my special purchase from its rack. That's a Valentine's Day card, admonished the voice. I know that, I said. It's for ma'am. By now, the voice had materialized into the ever so perfect Anne from the haberdashery department. I had the card in my grasp and was making my way over to the big timber counter to pay for it. I hoped she wouldn't follow me. She followed me. Worse still, she took the card from me. You know, she continued, like I said, it's a Valentine's card. You wouldn't really send a Valentine card. What I mean is, well, your dad might send one to your ma'am, or your ma'am might send one to your dad. But little girls of eight or nine wouldn't really send Valentine cards to their dads or mams, or, or to anyone, really. But I am sending it to my ma'am, I said, and I know that that's okay. I paid for the card. Anne put it in a little brown paper bag. I thanked her before leaving the shop. I got it, I said to Dad, as he opened his umbrella. Great, he said winking at me. Now let's go straight to the post office. En route to the post office, I regaled him with the story of Anne's extraordinary counsel. Imagine, I said, she thinks that a little girl shouldn't send a Valentine's Day card to her ma'am. Isn't she strange? Look, I said, taking the card out of its envelope and showing Dad the big brown bear smiling out at us under a speech bubble saying, now who's been sleeping in my bed? I mean, why shouldn't a little girl send a card like that to her ma'am? I said. Why indeed, agreed dad. <laughs>